as Mark kind of mentioned, so Liminal is actually a really interesting game by Paul Michener uh, that if you haven't picked it up, it's well worth it, I think. Uh, and it's largely, especially for, I think, probably our larger audience of people, uh, at least across the pond from me, uh, of interest to all of you because it is uh, largely... Um, takes place or, or written to take place in and around London. Although, Mark, to be fair, there is an American city that is outlined in the book. Uh, and so it's not unheard of to play in it, it America. References, it references the bill and casualty. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's so, the, the U.S. version of Nip. the bill. You know how the U.S. take all of our good shows and turn them into American shows? You know, I mean, got I'll, the be bill. The first, I'll be the first one to say that usually the American versions are crap. You look at something like, like being human. Oh, I mean, being human was pretty special, though, wasn't it? Actually, and that's, that's, that's kind of links to this game with being human, it's really. I suppose a little bit, that was a little that bit. was a nice little nice little link. Yeah, yeah. So we will be playing tonight, uh, liminal, uh, focused on the city of Colma in the United States, Colma, California. It's just just outside of San Francisco to the south. Uh, the um, If we see the tabletop at some point, the, the map is kind of giving you an overhead view of Colma. Uh, it is a city of cemeteries. It is a necropolis. Uh, it's one of the largest in the United States, actually, like for real, if anybody is uh, wondering if this is true. Um, there are currently more than 1.5 million deceased residents in the township of Colma and only about 1,800 living ones. Um, it's, a, it's a fantastic and interesting place. Uh, so our characters tonight, are um, being played by these three. I will let them kind of introduce themselves because they've had some time with their character sheets. Um, you guys can say what you look like and who you are and how old you are, for example. Like I didn't decide that Trousers as a teenager, he decided that, and it's fantastic. Um, and I think we will start actually in your crew's hangout. So in the game of Liminal, most characters kind of band together in crews. If anybody is wondering what Liminal means, uh, Liminal, by definition, is kind of an in-between state. And that's what's interesting about this game is because you play a character that kind of has to live in between the normal world and the supernatural world. Uh, and in fact, sometimes the characters themselves are referred to as liminals. Um, but let's get this up there. Our characters have come together in a crew out of convenience and uh, in order to look after each other. And, and some of them might even be interested in looking after the community. And somehow they've come into possession. No one really rightly knows how of an abandoned bar uh, in Colma. Uh, it is not currently in operation, uh, and it's not probably in the best of shape, but it is a place that they can call their own, uh, that they can rest and relax in. And some people have learned uh, that this group of people are interested in protecting the community. Uh, maybe they have together or individually done some things to help people in the area. And so their reputation is growing as a group of people who you might look to uh, if you have some interesting and maybe not so normal problems. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and, and introduce our characters. Um, I guess I'll say starting on my screen with Mark, where are you playing tonight? I knew that was going to happen, and yet I wasn't prepared. Um, tonight, I am playing um, Alex Nicano. Is that my, am I pronouncing that right? You can yeah, tell me. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, uh, Alex Nakano, um, who is uh, in the game, uh, his archetype is is described as a as a gutter mage, uh, I believe, um, and he has he he's a self taught magician, um, if if that makes any sense at all. Um, he's um, generally, I am told. In the middle of the trouble of trouble, um, I don't know if that if that's because he's a direct cause of it or whether he's just unlucky. We'll find out, I guess. Um, he's probably in his early thirties. He's wearing a, a rain-stained kind of trench coat, jeans, and combat boots. Uh, he's got short, dark hair, slightly spiky. Um, he looks like he's not slept for a couple of days, generally. He's kind of got dark bags under his eyes most of the time. Um, and he's generally unshaven. Um, he's probably wearing some kind of T-shirt with a, a, a rock band logo on it. And I'm going to say uh, that the logo is Depeche Mode. Oh, nice. Awesome. So... Um... Next up on my screen is Lloyd. Um, if you don't feel up to a huge introduction, that's fine. Uh, but uh, Lloyd is playing J3 Trees. Let's give it a go. They're like, he's a, a young werewolf. He's just sort of just, I guess, had his first transformation. I think when I first read the character sheet, because of the way it was sort of phrased, I assumed he was a, a reverse werewolf. He was a, a wolf who had recently transformed into a person. You can be, um, if you want. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so like... Yeah, he sort of... I get. I think it's a bit disheveled, like wears mismatching clothes. Because I imagine for like the transformations and stuff, that like stuff doesn't really last very long, especially being a werewolf in general, so... Yeah, it I happens should... Like, whatever he is sort of shoplifted or found like around, sort of claimed for his own. And I should point out for you uh, to keep in mind with your shape change ability that uh, nothing else transforms with you. It's just you. So oftentimes your clothing is destroyed. Anything you're carrying has to be left behind. So yeah. And then finally we have Sam. Yo. Yes, uh, Sam Aldrich. I, I'm not going to try a California accent. I tried earlier, but it was disastrous. So I just say dude every now and then. Um, so Sam is basically what happens when uh, runaway kids uh, grow up. Um, he had a, um, a foster home, ran away from it, lived in the streets, um, because basically he was being harassed by, uh, by the spirits of the dead. They kept asking him to do things. Um, so he basically had to try to like, run away. He couldn't function in, in, in society. Um, he learned to kind of like um, talk to them and um, to, to get things from them. So, they, so like if someone like died uh, recently, but they didn't have anyone to um, uh, next to kin, it was like, great, free house. And he'd go and like, live there for a bit until they, they were there. So um, he basically has got the defensive arrogance uh, that ties with a insecurity of youth, um, kind of like, you know, makes himself a bit cocky, but he's really just a scared little child inside. Um, generally wears uh, loose-fitting clothing to, you know, make himself look bigger than he actually is, or to kind of like hide his body shape. Um, quite a... Uh, can be quite, quite, quite cocky and, and, and abrasive, but a... Um, but loyal, fiercely loyal to his uh, to his friends. Um, yeah, and that's Sam. All right. So, as we start off, as I said, you you all are kind of hanging out at your place. Uh, I don't know if you even gave it a name. Um, and we'll say it's mid afternoon or so. Um, your bar is pretty central, actually. Um, the, glass men the Glass Menagerie. The Glass Menagerie. Okay. All right. 
uh, it's the last because it it's like a bar and you get things and some menagerie because we're all different types. Sure. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, so it is pretty central in Colma. Draw up a Colma map here as soon as it lets me. Uh, you're pretty close to the police department. Uh, pretty much dead in the center of what would be Colma. It's actually just a couple of blocks away. Um, and there are, as I said, lots of cemeteries. So Cypress Lawn Memorial is is indicated just to the south of you, but actually there are several different parts of Cypress that take up a lot of the central area. And then there's a bunch of smaller cemeteries all over the place as well. Um, kind of along the strip of the street that you're on, which is El Camino, it's one of the largest uh, one of the biggest roads. It's like a four-lane kind of road through the town uh, ship. That's where a lot of the um, businesses and things like that are as well. There's a mall nearby. Um, a lot of kind of standard fare in addition to um, like apartment buildings and things like that. Most of those are kind of over in this area. Um, I should probably change the color of my thing so you can see it easier on the screen. Let's make it this light blue. Kind of over in this area are where a lot of the housing is. Uh, and then, as I said, up kind of to the northwest is where you start getting into uh, DeLay County and San Francisco. So as you are chilling out at your bar, um, one of you, and I'll let you decide who, gets a phone call from the police. Who do you think the police will be more likely to call out of the three of you? Alex, Alex is a grown adult, so, you know. Yeah. So I'd love it if it was just like a phone, we had a, like one of those like landline phones. Yeah, I, I <laughs> think it's, it's, a, it's, it's just Jay phone. there on his own, there's like a wolf form, connected. he's been like. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't get the popo my number. Okay, so there you go. There 100% is a landline phone in the bar. <laughs> yeah. And it somehow is still connected. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is, yeah, yeah. You get wrong numbers every now and then. It's, yeah. Well, and you know, and maybe sometimes people think the bar is still open. Occasionally, somebody who thinks that the bar the bar is actually a pizza parlor that delivers. <laughs> and occasionally, we pretend we are. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, uh, who picks up? Ooh. Uh, Alex is the kind of person I think he's going to be sat he's, in. He's a responsible adult. Well, you say that. You say he's responsible, and I'm, I'm, yeah, I think adult maybe. Um, and he's sat on a on a couch right now, and his feet are resting up on a uh, on the coffee table in front of him. Um, there's a can of beer on there as well, despite the fact that it's what what time? It's probably early morning, right? Ten a.m. Something like that. Sure. Sam's on, yeah. Sam's on a hat space invaders machine in the corner. Yeah. 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 Um, so the, this can of beer is empty, and I look across at Sam as he's playing on the machine, and I just grab the can and lob it at him and say, answer the fucking phone. You, Alex. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. We're closed. <laughs> no, we don't deliver. <laughs> uh, no, I, I'm sorry. I know. Um, is this? Uh, man, I don't. Is are you the the people that take care of things? Uh, that is a very loaded question, and I don't really I, feel able to answer it until I have a bit more information. I, I'm sorry. I uh, uh, this is this is Officer Santos, uh, Jacob. Santos. Uh, uh, Alex, Alex is new. <laughs> uh, okay, and I, I I'll get up um, and slowly wander across to the phone. Take it. Hello. Uh, oh yes. Um, I this is Officer Santos. I'm with the Colma the Police Department. I'm I'm just a B cop, and I. I didn't want to do this, but I called. <sighs> There's something strange going on, and I've heard from people around that that 
this might be a good number to call. Okay, and I'm gesturing to, to, to Sam to pass me the notepad that's on the bar there, and I'll take a Sharpie out of my pocket, pull the lid off with my teeth, cradling the phone in my shoulder. Yeah, yeah, sure. What, what, what's, what's, what's the problem? Well, it, there have been a lot of reports of disappearances coming in to the police department. Um, many more than there should be. I, I think in the past week we've had six people in one week reported as missing. And I, we just, we can't, we can't find them all. And sometimes it's going to, oh, this is going to be so weird. They, all of these people who are reported missing, they were either employees of or, or were visiting Cypress Lawn, the, the big cemetery. And you know Cypress Lawn. Like I said, it's, yeah. it's oh. one of the biggest, one of the oldest. It's not quite the oldest, but it is one of the oldest. Is it, is it run by a particular like, company or something? Uh, it's a private company that okay. runs it. Um, it's not really a, like, it's not a, a named company. It's just, you know, Cypress, Cypress Lawn, Lawn is incorporated. So like, yeah. 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 Now, have you tried calling um, Cypress Lawn and ask them whether these employees had the, left their employment, or is it? Uh, it is it? Well, look, I shouldn't. Gosh, I shouldn't even be doing this. We. So, Detective Ortiz, she, she's heading up this case, and I'm sure she's talk to them but she's not getting anywhere she's got she's got nothing and she doesn't she doesn't think it's strange that it's all coming from the cemetery okay. I, I've, I've seen things and and isn't that strange why yeah, so yeah. many people I, I, do you want do you want to meet somewhere I, talk uh, about this um uh, no, I understand if you don't. Um, we have a reputation, I suppose. It's just I shouldn't. I shouldn't be. I shouldn't have even given this information out. I mean, it's it's not to. It's just missing people at this point. But some people are talking serial killer. Some people are talking like I don't. Right. And it's it's not getting anywhere. And people are are worried. Um. Okay, so the, all the missing people are locals, yeah? So employees far, from what, I've, from what I've seen, yes, the employees are locals, and all of the people that weren't employees were visitors to the cemetery. And being a, a private cemetery, it's not like... It's not like there would be people from out of town unless they just have family that are interned there. It's only longer we've got to charge them consultancy. <laughs> <laughs> um uh, okay I, I mean are you I, are you able to give me the names of the missing people and I'd scribble them down if he does if he doesn't tell I guess we'll just yeah, have to I, to them I can I can give you the last six that came in this week sure okay um I'm gonna open up the notebook okay <laughs> Um, okay, dokie. You ready? Yeah, man. Um, let's see. Madison Lee, L I. Okay, yep. Madison Lee. Olivia Ramirez. Olivia Ramirez. Uh,. Liam Garcia. Uh-huh. Mia Smith. Mia. M-I-A. 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 Mia. Mia Myth. Smith. Smith, okay. <laughs> Mia Myth, that would have been a rather liminal name. Um, Mia Myth. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Grace Alvarez. 
Yep. And Samuel Gomez. Okay. Uh, Those are... All right, then. Uh, de- uh, not detective. Um... <laughs> Yeah, he's just an officer. 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 Um, sure, we'll uh, we'll look into it. Do you um, have a number we can contact you on if we need to? Nine one one. You. Yes, you can. You can call the police department and, and ask for me. Um, what was his name again? Sorry, Jacob Santos. That was it. So. And uh, sorry, the person in charge of the case. Who was that again? Sorry, Detective Ortiz. Detective Ortiz. Okay. Well, um, sure. We'll uh, we'll look into it. Okay. Um... Uh, I mean, this is a good question, actually. Do we do this for money? So, or are we just good citizens? Do you, do you or do they just agree to like look the money. other way when it comes yeah. to whether they close this place down or not? Yeah, yeah. Because we are probably squatting. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's. I mean, we're going to charge a cop. If a cop calls us and says, "How can this weird stuff going on?" Oh, how much are you going to pay us, mate? <laughs> yeah, but on the flip side, like if you do something for the police, that could get you an in with that officer. That could get That's you potentially true. an in with the department. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we'll we'll, we'll play that as if, money, but yeah, yeah. As in, we may be able to call in a favor at some point or sure, something like right. that. So yeah, I'm not going to mention any money or anything then. Okay. Uh, okay, and I'll <sighs> just hang up. <laughs> okay. Cool. Was that was that was that was that about the power cables? Because I managed to run them into the back so we can get the generator and the lights going. But, you know. No, I don't think I'm sure he's someone's too worried going to about... notice their bills are going up. I'm sure. I don't think he's too worried about the power cable, Sam. Um, and do you know anything about Cypress? Oh, I've forgotten the name. I keep saying Cypress Lawn. Cypress Lawn. Cypress Lawn. Cypress Lawn. Cypress Lawn. Cypress Hill. <laughs> Yeah, know anybody in it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah tons. <laughs> it's, 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 kind of, it's kind of my thing. Uh, I get bored. I just go down and like you know. Well, I, I will have I love quiz night with them. Would you Would you like to make a roll to see if you know anybody interesting in Cypress Lawn? Oh, okay. Yes. What What would that be? Um, lore. Lore. Okay. Probably not necromancy. No, oh, not specifically. Uh, let's get this system working. Oh, hang on a minute. I've got the switch up as well. There you go. Eight plus my law is three. Hello. Right. So the standard target number in Liminal is almost always eight. Uh, generally, it will only be modified if you are rolling against someone else uh, or if a situation is particularly difficult. Uh, this, however, was not. So, yeah, I mean, being a, a however intentional necromancer that you are, um, you have, I don't know, maybe at some point kind of gone through the rules. Or maybe just, uh, is Sam from the area? You said he kind of traveled around, right? Yeah, he's, he's, he's a drifter. So okay, he's probably so... like, he came from probably f- um, further east and then just ended sure. up in going to sure. the bay because that's where the cool kids are. Right, right. So you have, maybe you've heard from some of the spirits that you've engaged with, or maybe you've just heard people talking about it on the street. There are a lot of actually famous people in Cypress Lawn. Um, Some of the interesting ones that you may have heard of note that I found personally interesting while I was looking at them uh, Mm. are... Where is this in my notes? Uh, One of my favorites that I found uh, that you would probably find interesting is Joshua Emperor Norton, the first emperor of the United States. Oh. 
I knew he was a king, but I didn't know um, he was He was the gentleman who was kind of a straight person who everybody knew and one day started declaring himself emperor of the United States and everybody just kind of went with it. <laughs> it's well, that's very, cool, because they didn't very do it when I tried it. Uh, a couple of baseball players, Francis Lefty O'Doul, uh, Joe DiMaggio. Oh, you might okay. be familiar with that name. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, uh, probably one of the best known ones that Cypress Lawn is known for is uh, Andrew Jackson Pope, who's one Ooh. of the founders of the Pope Talbot Lumber Company, which is actually still in business today. Uh, they, like, they're huge. And, and they became huge, interestingly enough, because when the gold rush happened in the United States, uh, Pope and uh, Talbot, his partner, they decided not to mine for gold. They mined the miners. And so they provided lumber, which was needed by everyone everywhere at the time, and just got filthy rich off of it. Smart, yeah, great. Um, the, the Pope mausoleum is actually one of the, the centerpieces of the, the old Cypress Lawn, the main site. Uh, it's actually visible from the front gates. So yeah, there's a there's a lot of interesting people in Cyprus. Mm. Not Wyatt Earp. Wyatt Earp is in one of the nearby cemeteries. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I think of Joe Joe Maggio every now and then, just got to chat to him, and then he runs yeah. off, and I go, "Where have you gone, Joe Maggio? I can't uh, hear anybody. Oh, but it says you're all talking. Why can't I hear any of you? Uh oh. Can you hear us now? Can you hear me now? You can all hear each other, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. We can yeah. Hear you as well. And we can hear you too. And the stream can hear everybody. See what all of this is? Yeah. Yep. 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 Okay. I said so, we can hear you, just can't, and you apparently can't hear everybody it. can hear me. Yeah. That must be your speakers. But I oh. can't hear anything. Uh, I'm going to give me one. Okay. Yeah, now we can hear you. Okay. Are you there now? Yeah. I oh, had good. to unplug, okay. and plug in my, uh, my headset, but I can hear everybody. Okay, so oh, what okay, have we cool. been saying? <laughs> yeah, so Alex, what, what, what the hell have you committed us to now? Oh, just the usual. Just the usual. Uh, Missing persons all oh. seem to be connected to Cypress Lawn Cemetery. Okay. You know, seeing as if you've got is, pals there, I thought maybe we could go and ask them some questions. Oh, yeah. Is there a range on necromancy? Do I have to like, be within an area of people that the uh, ghost manifest, or can you summon Yeah, them? it's there is a range. It's, it's okay. not necessarily right next to you, but like it, it's within, say, within a, a walking distance yeah. like it's not it's not something you can have a conversation with states away but maybe the next building over yeah. but it's not it's okay. also not having a conversation it's more summoning right. and in order to summon something you have to know about them okay so if, okay so if i just want to sit there and say fine let me just check if they're dead and then i can cycle through those names and go oh, someone, nope they're not uh, there. I, was, I was more thinking you might ask Ask a current resident whether they've, they've the seen to cast them, yeah. right? where they've seen it. Uh, any... That's yeah, yeah, yeah. And I yeah, probably went out well, and they just have to like, lie down for a bit afterwards. Yeah, yeah. oh, fine. Well, it's actually in a uh, uh, think, well, Okay, let uh, me. Yeah, I mean that's an interesting idea. I wanna, I wanna see where you're going with that. Let me get to your mm. magic here. I mean, obviously, we're not ruling out the fact they've been taken away, more than walking sure. distance away, and then murdered. But at least we'll know so, they were killed at the cemetery. Right. It's not going to be super simple, because if all you have is a name, your connection yeah. won't be that great. But it certainly is a possibility. So let's see. Uh, you do know a person's name. Uh, there are people still alive that know that person. 
Hopefully. And I mean, they, they may not be more than six weeks old in terms of dying. Okay. Weird yeah. way to say it. So, I mean, yeah. You know, um, if we need to get some more information about them, then we'll we'll don't go and do some research that on those people. That one might if that might make it easier. It would make it easier if you do some research on them. Okay. Um, okay. And that will take very little time. I mean, we're playing in the modern day, so I assume that at least one of you probably has a laptop or you're very facile with your smartphone. Um, I would imagine that in in finding this place and kind of setting it up for yourselves, maybe you also found a local Wi-Fi signal that ha- that's open that has no, a fairly good... I think it's a payphone and an acoustic coupler. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. Um, well, I can walk it's up to you. How you guys are set up? Yeah. No, um, um, I, no I um, I don't know. I kind of like the idea of it, doing it old-fashioned. Okay, personally. so well, I mean, well, we, we got we got we got their names. So yeah, basically, you want to find these guys, you just check the social media. Yeah, see oh, what they. We could do that. We could do that. Yeah. But I don't I, have I mean, any social well, we did, we did, media accounts, Sam. But we haven't got any other information about them other than their names. I mean, there could be like a hundred Liam Garcias in the in the whole Bay Area alone. You know, um, mm. it's not exactly an uncommon name. So this cop, he wants us to come into the station. No, he doesn't no, want anything okay. to do with us. <laughs> right. <laughs> so he's just given us these names, no other information, and just like I said, sort it out. Yeah. Did he say he had, did he say he had any leverage over us? He probably was like surprised that we didn't ask any follow up questions. <laughs> <laughs> Might have been. Okay, great. He's gonna go and do it. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to, okay, right. So we need like how old were these people? Where do they live? He's got their names. He must have some more information than that. Oh, maybe. I would say that Alex is you fairly the certain. Phone, man. You passed it over to me. It was a cop. <laughs> it was a cop. I didn't talk to cops. I would say that Alex is fairly certain that he was reticent to share more information than the names. I mean, these are not, although a lot of times uh, uh, information from the police is public record, generally open investigations are not. Oh, okay. Right. So these these probably wouldn't have made the press or anything like that yet? Not yet. So so they're locals. So we can go to... Correct. City records okay, or whatever. Like, well, or just like local local Facebook groups and people say, oh, "Find my Liam." You can do that. Too. You have to be goddamn social media with you, Sam. It's the future. It's the future. Future, my. And probably ass. not Facebook, but you know that's that's how my app. Old people use it, so like his mum might have put something on or something. I don't know. Yeah, I got I got I got some I got some data left on my phone. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll have a look. So. Okay, so you guys want to look into the names. But, um, I think that's what we're doing. Well, I mean, I I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing it now. You can do, you can plan yeah. something else, but I'm like yeah, just, just, I'm just like googling them and yeah, using using the phones. Okay. Yeah. And any other methods? It sounded like Alex was thinking about going to uh, yeah, Hall of Records or whatever. Hall of Records, yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, they must have been if they're visiting. They must have been staying somewhere as well. Yeah. Uh, if they were visitors, yeah, that's that's certainly possible. Uh, it could also be possible that they were employed by the cemetery. Note, he didn't say... And he did say some of them were employees, didn't yeah. he? So, uh, ooh, yeah, we, we could contact the Cypress Lawn Incorporated. Maybe. I don't know whether they'll give us any information over the phone. I'm not so sure, but... Right. We may have ways, maybe, of getting some of this stuff. Okay, so let's go, since it's more immediate, let's go with Sam's idea first. You troll the social media uh, looking for these names. And I would say out of the list of names available, you're able to zoom in on probably Mia Smith. And we'll say Madison Lee. And Mia Smith is 
from what you can tell in her 20s, uh, she is a resident of Colma or appears to be. There are pictures of her uh, in some of the local hangouts for people her age. Um, no indication of anything strange necessarily, uh, but, you know, that's her social media is that of a of a 20 something you know who's living life to the best of their ability in in a city of the dead uh madison lee uh is you can tell almost immediately from her facebook that she is oh I, and i'm sorry i should have said mia smith is also very active on tiktok uh so that's where you find a lot of her videos of her being in the area so I'm much younger Madison Lee, on the other hand, uh, appears to be an older woman. Uh, difficult to say because she's not filled out her Facebook information completely. Uh, it looks like she's it's just, a, it's just a picture of like a minion on the on the right. front. Yeah, something. something. <laughs> it's it's definitely an old person's uh, uh, Facebook page. Yeah. Uh, it does list a relatively local high school as the high school that she graduated from. No year listed. And um, it does actually list her street address in Colma. Um, no. Granny got to look after her security deets. Not anymore. <laughs> uh, but those are the only ones that you can find with a quick uh, through fare with social media. Cool. Okay. Here's your whole record. Oh, yeah, we got, um, we've got Madison Lee's address. We can surely locate her from. On so in, relationship status. All records. Yeah. Is it complicated? <laughs> uh, no, her <laughs> relationship her relationship the, the relationship status is married. Oh. Does her husband have a profile? He does not. <laughs> Smart guy. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, we can have a look at all the records you want to chase these other guys up, but um got a couple here. Couple of leads. Actually, I mean, what we can do, what we can do, what we can do, we can take Jay down, have a little sniff around her house, and then he can get the scent, and then we can go down to the cemetery and then see where she ended up. Oh. A bloodhound. If he's up for it, if you're up for it. <laughs> I'm a wolf. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, 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 that old concrete yours. How dare you, sir? <laughs> it's a compliment. It's a compliment. No, anyway. Actually, where were you the other night, uh, Jay? Um, you eat grandma's, don't you? <laughs> Wolves generally. <laughs> Big teeth, well, not you necessarily. Oh. Sometimes I hide in the cupboard. No evidence the university you're reading. <laughs> <laughs> I just dress um, up like grandma see young women. Ah. <laughs> like Mia Smith. Um. Okay, so we've got we've got an address for and this Manners and Lee. This is why they're both missing. She's a grandma. <laughs> Eat the other one. <laughs> she has a big picture of Red Hood on this TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, yeah. so we um we I I really we can go to the Hall of Records. I think we can track down Madison Lee pretty quick. Um well, we've got to address so not, uh, based on the address and the name or whatever. Um both, I guess we can see. I guess we can see. We can see if we can find anyone else. So, uh, I mean, yeah. we could always go, actually, round to a house. If we well, is I don't think the question is: Are they? Are they all related? Are they connected in some way, or is it just someone who is opportunistically? I mean, I'm assuming they have actually done anything. Yeah, and they're not just like they've all just decided to wander off independently and go and find themselves in like a VW camper van or something. Yeah. Um, well, from these, from this small sample, that might be odd, unless for some reason they're related to each other. But there's no indication that these two are related. But the age difference is pretty large. Although to be fair, the age difference between some of you is large. So you know, yeah. Not large. Okay. <laughs> How many ten? Yeah. In wolf years. <laughs> What does that make you 70? <laughs> no, he knows. No, I mean, I'm, I'm seriously, if, if there's like a common reason why everyone's gone missing, if we can just find why one person's gone missing by looking at their scent, and we can try one, then that's probably got something similar with the rest of them. 
uh, okay, I mean, I'm, I'm going to bite. Is this something uh, that Jay can actually do? What? Track people? Track scent. With scent, yeah. Is, it, is that mean, a thing? If, look, if Jay were in wolf form, and if you rolled a good enough awareness, I wouldn't say that's out of the question. And being in wolf form, Jay would get, I think you get what, plus four for shape your, uh, for related skills while your shape changed. I mean, you definitely have, yeah, right. plus two. So, so yeah. Could he, so could he, could he, could he take awareness of two and take plus a two? Yeah, I would say take, that. Take a scent in human that, form yeah. and then follow and then remember it. Oh, no, he'd, he'd have to be in wolf form. Okay, so we're going to turn it to Madison. He's like, hi, we, we, we understand your, your wife's gone missing. Here's a massive wolf. Can we bring it into the house? Yeah. That's probably yes. not going to go down too well. I mean, it's like, yes, at my front door, it'd be like some guy, a vagabond and a wolf. <laughs> like, this is, this is normal. So, so we're going to have to make sure he's out of the house before we sneak Jay in to go and start sniffing. Either way, I think we need to stake out this guy. I mean, Sam's not that convinced of the efficacy of this, but it sounds like it's going to be... Sure. <laughs> yeah. Chaos. And, he, and he's up for that. Okay. So it's, like, <laughs> it's not going to terribly wrong, but it's going to be a, a laugh getting it done. So, um, so we're going to Madison Lee's house? Middle of the day? Apparently so. Stake it out. Wait for her husband to go and like put out wanted posters or whatever he's going to do. Maybe I mean, flush him out. Good point. I mean, we don't know. We don't even know if the um, the police have interviewed him or anything like that. Whether she's officially missing yet, we don't know how long she's been gone. So, right. Let's let's go. Uh, maybe well, when was the last really when was the last Facebook post? Oh, her last Facebook post was. Um... That's a good question. It was three days ago. Okay. And it said, um, visiting my mom today. Okay. Uh, I expect her mom is probably in Cypress Lawn. Yeah. So she's gone missing three days, which is like enough to trigger the cops. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I guess there must have been something which has drawn uh, Santos' attention, right? So... Uh, okay. Maybe maybe, um, maybe you could go and visit Alex. I need to say you're like from victim support or something like that, and then like you know you take him out for a coffee and I don't know. I mean, if she was going to go visit her mum, could find out where her plot is. We need and well, we need to know thing. what her mum's name was. She's married, so it's not yeah. her. Yeah. Okay. Um. I'm still thinking Hall of Records, to be honest, because I think we might be able to find out a few more details about... Oh, you guys can always split up. This is, yeah, yeah. So Alex wants to go to the Hall of Records. Yep. Sam, are you thinking about going to Mia's? Uh, well, I haven't got Mia's address. I've only got a TikTok, which isn't quite enough. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Madison. Any... Madison's. Madison's, yeah. No, because no, no, he's not going to take me seriously. Yeah, you know, if, if we just rolled up to this guy, I mean, unless we're going to sneak in, and then I mean, there's the first time I mean, and everything. Well, you said <laughs> something about sneaking it out. This is true. This is true. Oh, right, Jay, Jay, are you going to come with me? I mean, I think I feel like I would just draw attention. So, not as a uh, not as a bloody wolf. Not 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 immediately as a wolf. Just like <laughs> as a an adult. Yeah, yeah. like a shapeshift. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, so yeah, okay. Um, we'll handle the Hall of Records first. What are you looking for there? Okay, so I want to try and... Also, um, how do you guys get around town? Do you have vehicles? <laughs> Como's pretty oh, small. Man. You can probably walk. It would just take time. Yeah. There's also yeah, buses. Think, if, if, yeah, I mean, Alex, if he has a car, it will be, it will be a heap of crap. Okay. Um, I'd probably but go maybe... bite. <laughs> yeah, true, yeah. Um, so, yeah, he's going to have some kind of beaten up... Um, I don't know what it would be. 
can't think of any American cars except for Cadillac at the moment. So, I uh, let's see. He's in his station 30s. wagon. One of the ones Alex, with wood panels on the side. Alex. Alex has a like a forty-year-old DeLorean. Nissan Sentra. <laughs> a what? A Nissan Sentra with Nissan. rust on the sides. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds ideal. You said Nissan, uh, so yeah. Yeah. Got a, yeah. Sam, Sam's got a moped. Okay. All right, that looks pretty cool, to be honest. Yeah, but imagine it all rusted up. And, yeah. You know, I mean, I'm looking at the 2024s. Off. Yeah. Yeah, don't look at the 2024s. Look at like the, let's, let's imagine he probably picked up like a, maybe at most uh, a 95 Sentra. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that looks crap. <laughs> yeah, he's going on them. He's going on them. Yeah. And I think the front window is all cracked as well. Oh, yeah, of course. Room. Yeah. Barely see out of it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, so, so Sam, Sam's moped has got like one of those, um, he's got a Domino's box on the back of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't work for him. It's just he got what he's. It's cover. Borrowed one. Borrowed right. One. Oh, yeah. It's not his. Yeah. He's not had so, it long. It's a pill got some pizza in it. <laughs> yeah. Is uh, Jay scooching onto the moped with you? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Your arms around me. I mean, the, ben- the benefit <laughs> I have is if either of these two can't drive properly, at least I'll survive it. They might right. not. But... And this is where we, as we set off together and crash into each other. Um, and <laughs> total party kill. Nice. So yeah, well, you're uh, for you. Yes, I'll I'll be fine. Your your <laughs> interesting vehicles are uh, parked outside or maybe around back. Yeah, and uh, you travel off. Heading to the Hall of Records doesn't take long. It's it's relatively close. I mean, it's it's probably I didn't look that one up, but I got to imagine it's close to the police department. So okay, um, that's actually you could probably walk to that. To be honest. Uh, yeah. and loan them your car if you wanted to. It's only a couple of blocks away. Or maybe you don't trust them. Maybe you don't trust them. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I might trust Jay. I don't think I'd trust Sam to drive the car. I don't know that Jay knows how to drive. If Jay was That's a good point. A wolf, a wolf initially, yeah. No. Um, he sticks his head I, okay, no, it will be. I'll be lending. As far as I'm aware, <laughs> it can't be too hard if you do. You two can drive. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll hand Sam the keys. And I want it back in one piece. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, no, no problem, no problem. I, I will. No going over thirty. Take care of it like it's my own mother. Does Sam have a legal license at this point? Nope. And he probably wasn't <laughs> even in school when they did driver's ed. Awesome. Okay. Love it. Okay. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll oh, you guys, goodness. you guys drive off to go to. Uh, Madison's place, and let's uh, we'll put the map back up and I'll kind of show you where it was. I tried to put a dot on it earlier, but I've got my layers a little messed up, so you'll just have to go by memory roughly. But I want to give you a rough sense. So, Madison's place is probably uh, right around here, just kind of up nestled in a cul de sac, uh, right up against that kind of mountainous it's not really a mountain, but like the hilly region. Uh, that you saw in the the overhead shot. Um, so that'll take a few minutes to get there. Uh, by the time you get to Madison's, Alex probably gets to the uh, library slash hall of records. Um, probably not too difficult for you to get access immediately, depending upon what you're looking for. What are you going to look for with these names? You're just looking for... Um, yeah, what I would, I think, what he, I want to try and get a bigger, pic, a better picture of who Madison Lee is. So, um, okay, I'll be able to get access to things like, um, uh, birth records and things like that. Uh, is that yeah, something that we can, that would be public record, yeah, oh, um, certificates. Yep, yeah, also public Mary record. Gets, yeah, so I, I'll be looking for stuff like that. I want to try and also, if I can, find a way to cross-reference uh, her with... Well, I'm going to have to do this backwards, aren't I? So I need to find out uh, Madison Lee. 
mm-hmm. and and the address that she's living at. Maybe on I don't know. Is there like a voter voter record or something? Um, uh, sen- actually, with given with that the you have world. her address yeah. and her name, it's relatively easy for you to find just about anything public. So yeah. you're looking for marriage records. You said her husband. Yeah. Yeah. So when you oh. When you look up her husband, you actually find that uh, Clarence Lee uh, passed 10 years ago. Um, okay. Did the old woman thing of like not changing a status when she's a widow. Ah. Yeah. Okay. She herself is 78. You find that relatively easily. Okay. Um, is Clarence Lee, by any chance, have a look at, is Clarence Lee (laughs) currently residing in Cypress Lawn Cemetery? Uh, there's no indication of burial. Okay. Is that unusual? Possibly cremated in an urn. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um... So there's no indication that these two had children. Okay. Uh, so married to Clarence Lee deceased. Make it easier to get into her house. Well, that's true. And I'll probably but feel free to give us a call and let us know. Yeah. I'll probably yeah. And I think Alex's phone is probably one of those it looked like an old Nokia. Nokia. Um, awesome. um, yeah. yeah. He's somehow uh, keeping it running. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so we all, I'll, well, he tries to text uh, Sam, but because of obviously it's the trying to text using the old number keys, yep. uh, he, he does it, messes it up three times, then thinks, okay, and then rings. <laughs> Yo! <clears throat> Uh, is it yo, Sam? Yeah, 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 Alex, yeah, yeah, was it, was it? Is, is Jay there? Yeah, yeah, Jay's there, yeah. Uh, I, I'm not sure I'm supposed to be driving one handed. Uh, you could just pass Jay the phone, would you? Sure, yeah, okay, <laughs> for you. <laughs> right, keep your hand to yourself. <clears throat> okay, your hands on a wheel, surely. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, you shouldn't have too many difficulties at the property. Apparently, um, Madison's husband... Speak, yeah. Okay. What does he mean? I uh, think he doesn't... Yeah, I don't think speaker would work very well at speed, so let's carry on with the conversation. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, apparently uh, my husband, Clarence, uh, he passed away some time ago. So the house should be empty. Uh, just in case anybody decides that they might want to have a look around. Okay. So uh, you two, you two have been there for a few minutes, um, uh, maybe just trying to figure out what to do. Okay. Um, so I'll give you kind of an overview of the house. It's a nice little house. Uh, it's older construction. Um, looks like it's well kept. Um, there is kind of an older model like Oldsmobile sitting in the driveway uh, and it looks clean and sparkling um, as if somebody maintains it and you've seen no movement from within the house. Uh, if you either of you decided to walk up and knock on the door, there was no answer. And then maybe, you know, at that point, as you were just kind of deliberating back in the car, that's when you get the call from Alex. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> Okay. Watch this. I'm going to do some magic. Ta-da! And is there like a little stone by the front of the house or like a flower pot or something? Um, <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> I move the flower pot or the stone that sometimes like wow. something things underneath them. <laughs> Old people always do this. <laughs> oh, right. you're looking for like a, a, a key. Uh, key. Yeah. 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 Uh, no, there's nothing like that that you can see. Right. Although, you know, with a regard for security, yeah, under the doormat, 
All the usual places. Yeah. The front. Uh, nothing under the doormat. Hand through the letterbox, see if there's a, uh, a, a string. Key on a string. <laughs> That's the next one. Oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Don't like that. <laughs> like, oh, people lock themselves out all the time. They need to be able to get themselves back well, in again. Have they got one of those boxes mounted on the wall with the, the, the code that you have to type in to release the code? Oh, interesting. No. Be, if, it's an, uh, if it's an Airbnb, then you've got to uh, remember a number. So, yeah, all right, we'll fine. Go. We'll just have to we'll just slip round the back then and see if we have more luck out when I... Okay. So there is, there is a back door. Um, the back garden yeah. is well-maintained. Um, if, you know... Is there a kind of flap? Maybe not as professionally cut. Uh, is there what now? Not flat. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Ooh. There is cat person. Okay, Jay, I need you to talk to the cat and get it to break, open the door. <laughs> Did you do that? How? I don't know. It's, a, it's an animal thing. <laughs> Hey, well, werewolf, talk was... to the cat. You've watched too yeah. many cartoons, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> not enough, not enough. All right, fine. Is is the house overlooked? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, the houses. Oh, yeah, well, the houses oh, nearby where somebody could look out the window and see them in the back um, garden. It is, on, it is on a cul-de-sac, but uh, y- the yard you're in and the way the porch is screened, um, the back porch is not really visible. Um, okay. There are some motion censored floods that are attached to the corners of the rear of the house, but they're not on currently because it's not nighttime. They're also light sensitive. Um, Ring doorbells. I'm guessing. Um, I'm. Can I can I do like a, a streetwise role to just generally assess the thing for security? Sure. So that would be nine. Nine. With a nine, I will encourage you to try the doorknob. Oh. <laughs> okay. I try it's the doorknob. Yeah, uh, it's unlocked. Okay. Ah, okay, fine. Well. She's an old woman. Maybe she forgot to lock her back door. Oh, we don't she... even know where she went missing from. That's the thing, right? You don't. So... Yeah. Well, oh, I thought I, I'm, I'm presuming they. Her oh, her yeah. Facebook last Facebook post did say I, that she I, was I, visiting I, her mom. Yeah, yeah she visited her mom. I, I thought. I thought this whole thing when you talked to the cop. I'm on the phone to Alex now. Yeah. This whole thing was that they all got they all went missing when they went to the graveyard and they never came back. I thought that was the whole thing. No, I never said that. Well, you mean? Oh, ah, man. All right, fine. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll just start having a, so she went to the graveyard. Okay. Jay, do you want me to, I'll, I'll, I'll turn around so you can, you can do your thing. <laughs> Why don't we just investigate yeah. the house first and just see what we find. You guys can investigate with awareness. <laughs> yeah. Let's just have a look around like a normal one. Looking for something. <laughs> Very just specific. Just really, just 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 drink in that old lady smell. Get it right up in your nose. One of your kinks rather than mine. <laughs> it is. I mean, the house is is very. I mean, this is a seventy year old, eight year old woman. Yes, but she's like at that point she would have been late boomer. Nice ten. Wow. Um. Did uh did I miss you roll? Oh, there you are. So. That's an eight plus your two. Two tens. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, no, 10 to 12, sorry, 10 to 12, yeah. 12. So, yeah, between the two of you, you find a few things pretty quickly, especially after speaking to... Did you mention that her husband was deceased? I Mark, think I just to, 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 yeah, to Jay, yeah. So, very quickly, you do find on her mantelpiece in the front room, there is a large, ornate urn. That most likely contains her husband's Clarence. remains. Hey, Clarence. Um, and there is a uh, a couple of photos of graves next to the urn. Mm. Uh, yeah, mom and dad. They're different photos. Um, so yeah, it's possible that they are her mom and dad. Um, Names on the graves. 
Uh, you know, it's difficult to tell because they're not taken up close. Okay. Uh, you would maybe have to scan them into something and do some kind of enhancement in order to pull names from them. Ooh. Um, but, you know, as I said, her last Facebook post does mention that she was going to visit Mum in Cypress Lawn, so... Yeah, but we need to find out what Mum's name is, because, as I say, she's married, True. so... Oh, she, she had a maiden name. Probably, probably something Mark would be able to look up fairly easy, easily in the Hall of Records. Um, may already have jotted it down. The name's not really important. I think what you're looking for is the location of the grave, yeah. am I right? Yeah. Um, so in that case, yes, uh, there's actually there's actually a website you can go to, and if you know somebody's name and you have information, yeah. you can find, find, a, find a grave, isn't it? Yep, find absolutely. Ooh. So yeah, you're able to locate where her mother's grave is in Cypress Law fairly easily. Um. So you have that information. Uh. Is there anything else you might be looking for in the house? Is it worth, you guys is it were worth very having, successful, so you tell me. Is it worth me. me having a word with Clarence? I can have a word with Clarence. We've got his, Clarence, we've got his ashes, we've got his urn. He's going to be in this area. You do. He's also been dead for 10 years, so there's actually no <laughs> guarantee scary. that he's present. I'll let you try. He, he might Six pass weeks, on. Wasn't it? It said, yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, okay. Well, maybe not then. He's probably gone off to his eternal reward or punishment. Yeah, it's, 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 been, it's been 10 years for him, so he's probably... And Thank and you. his his you know her mother obviously is going to be even further. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I'll tell you this: from what little you've picked up so far about necromancy, you feel like with his name and his ashes, you probably could pull a spirit. But it, it it's a big if. I don't want. I don't, it, I don't want to disturb him. Did, I don't really have a. Real you'd be pulling him from the afterlife. <laughs> If there is yeah. one, right? You'd be pulling him from beyond, which he might not be too happy about. And then he can't um, get back again. So what way trip right, push exactly, him Exactly. Right. So you normally with, someone you hate. Yeah. Unless you really want to push yourself, normally your necromancy is for more recent things or for spirits that are trapped. Um, which does also sometimes happen. Uh, but you don't I'll tell you straight up with your with your ability, you don't sense that he's present. Yeah. So it's not like he's haunting her. Okay. Um, it's a good thought, though. Anything, that was a really good thought. Yeah. I was like, okay. So I, I will basically say, Clarence, anything we take is to try to find what's happened to Madison. Okay. So Alex said she didn't have kids. So I don't think you're going to be missing anything right. inheritance wise. <laughs> so. So unless there's you know, anything else specific that you think you are looking for. Um, there's not a whole oh, lot so. else to find here. Um, you're very successful in your roles, but you know, looking around, I mean, maybe you shuffle through a mail to take a look at that. And you don't really see yeah, anything. That, that's a good point. Um, and I don't know if someone Joe would have thought of it. Is there a lot of mail there? Does it look like she's been gone a long time? Or so she does. She does actually have the mail thing, the mail slot on her door. Hmm. Uh, and yes, there are, there's several days worth of mail there piled up, more, at least three. More than three? More, at least oh, three. no, okay. not more than three. Not more than three. So no, no one's been, no one's been Facebooking on her behalf while she's been actually gone for longer. It's right. legitimate. She's gone three days. That's hmm. fine. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, I'll, I'll liberate a couple of kitchen appliances. Um, and, um, <laughs> okay. she eats them. Uh, uh, the I, I get quite cavalier. With, with what You're I'm assuming she's questions. dead. <laughs> well, we'll bring him back if she's not. It's fine. Oh, okay. All right. But yeah, if the photos of the graves are like her parents' graves, then it may help us like track them down to that's where she was headed. Yeah. Three days ago. Yeah. Have you right. have you got have you got have you got the scent, Jay? <laughs> really, just die hard on him getting a scent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No. All right. If you don't, if you don't do it, if you got a cold or something, that's fine. That's fine. We'll leave it. We'll leave it. We're going. We can find a grave. We're going to go and go to the cemetery. We'll find a grave. I'll ask if there's anyone around who might have seen her and um, what happened. We'll just like track her as long as there's some recent graves. We'll be fine. So, if yeah. if she'd be like right. the D and D movie where just like someone goes, oh, have you seen him <laughs> over there? <laughs> Thank you. So <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> 
I think with those, we'll go ahead and use the previous awareness rules too. So as you're searching through the house um, for anything you can use, or maybe as you're you're in the kitchen, kind of looking for some appliances that maybe look used uh, or or that you're interested in. I don't know. Whenever you decide. No, to I, th take. I, th I think I I think I think Jay probably stares down Sam. <laughs> well, he's kind of like. <laughs> Give me a bit of options. Oh, you know. Fine, yeah, you're right. She might yeah. not be dead. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. I mean, I'm, uh, so used I'm to... hasn't tried to go through a jewelry yet. I'm so used <sighs> to scavenging from the dead. It's just like, you know, it's like, so. Yeah, I think the washing machine's a bit much, though, isn't it? <laughs> right. It'd be pretty heavy. <laughs> Although Jay could handle it, but yeah. So um, you do both notice as you're kind of rooting around and looking at things, assuming you're not being super loud yourselves. Uh, you do hear the door, the front door being tried. No knock, just front door being tried. Who is it? <laughs> Give me. <laughs> the, ooh. <laughs> what would that be? You're, that's this is not right. Not right not not Sam's no. voice breaking. That's <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> There isn't really a deception. There isn't a deception skill that I've got anyway. Yeah. Now let's um, let's call it. Uh, uh, um, empathy yeah, yeah, sense lies, but yeah, let's call that empathy. Um, oh, well, I don't know that. An empathy roll. You can still roll. You just a flat roll, yeah. Okay. Yep. It's, I'll give it to you. So <laughs> more, I think probably that somebody heard something from inside and it sounds like somebody's there, you instantly hear somebody running off of the front porch. Maybe even like a skid on the gravel of the little walkway up to the front porch um, as they, they are just running off. Okay. Um, I could open the door quickly and see if you can see them as they're running off. Um, so opening the door, you have to unlock it, but that's fine. You're on the inside. You open the door and you see a figure probably about Sam's size uh, dashing down the street. Jay could pursue them if he wanted to. You oh certainly have the skill. Sick him! Sick him. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, go ahead and, and give me an athletics test. And you are uh, specialized in running, so you're yeah. going to add an additional two on to top of shape your athletics. Yeah. I think running will be fine. I think because it'll give me plus four. So running. you're going to get yeah. you're going to get your athletics plus two more for being specialized. <laughs> Eight. Oh, yeah. So let's see. You roll the four. Add three on athletics and then run. But... So that's a plus yeah. Five, so then, seven, eight, nine actually yeah. total. Nice. Um. Okay. So yeah, I think I'm going to make this contested. So I'll go ahead and roll for them. Oh no! <laughs> it's eleven. <laughs> well, fine, I didn't see fine, what I rolled because apparently my Albert rodeo just froze. Oh, you rolled a two. Oh. <laughs> well, you got it's a five and a six, but the six is like hot is on the edge. Yeah. Oh, he was going to land on the stream. You can see it on the stream. Can you hear me? Oh, oh. Yes, we can hear you. Yeah. Can you hear us? Yeah, like my whole computer froze for a second. Oh, um, oh you've dropped out of the game. I think. No, I think I'm. I think I'm back no, in now. What did I? What did I roll? Uh, <laughs> it was eleven. It was eleven. Yeah. Oh no, it shouldn't be eleven. What did the dice say? I may have six a and, fire six and five. to it. Six and five. Oh, oh it's a six oh, and a five. Six yeah. And a five. Wow, yeah. So it was eleven. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um. Well then. Uh. Yeah. They. They managed to elude you. Uh. For now, do you want to continue chasing? You guys are running hell for leather down the street. Okay, roll it oh, up. Hey, I'm, 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 I'm going to help, Chase. 
<laughs> I'm going to go to the car and try and catch up. <laughs> yeah, because they have no bonuses, so I was surprised that I rolled. I just got to tell. No, story. I'm not going to catch him. Like these dice rolls are atrocious. You're at eight. <laughs> eight. Yeah. Yeah. They rolled a four, so you gain some ground. Right. Let's do one. Let's do one more. Come on, Jay. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's so, a plus. Yeah. 13. Plus five. Yeah, 13. There's no way. Yeah, you with the nine. So you close on them close enough to, to do what you want. Do you want to tackle them? Do you want to just grab them? What do you want to try to do? I think because I'm like stronger, I could just probably just like ankle tap him, just like whack his like feet to like knock his oh, feet yeah, out. Oh, yeah, abso- oh. absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, you, uh, you trip them. And they go sprawling, and uh, it is a young kid, probably I don't know, probably thirteen ish. I'm like I don't know how old Sam is, but kind of a spindly thirteen, maybe. Not another one. <laughs> Away from stray. <laughs> like, and they're like they they take a fall and they're you know hurt, but they're trying not to show it. Um, you fucked up, kid. You fucked up. You got him back it up. Rolling up yeah. all the grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where are you? Who are you? Why window. were you trying to get in that house? What? What are you talking about? I wasn't trying to get in that house. You're crazy. I saw <laughs> you. Uh, if you'd like, if yeah, if 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 you'd like this conversation to be more civil in future, you should try and answer the questions rather than lie to me. Uh, give me an empathy roll. Uh, one second. We call it knock door run here in the UK. I don't know what you call it in, <laughs> in the US. I don't know if there's a specific name for it, but yeah, okay. it definitely happens. Okay, so you're selling Boy Scout cookies. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like that. It, yeah, it it definitely matters. So obviously they were lying at first, um, but upon hearing you just be very basic and very clear, they say, "Look, look, man, I was just, I, I was just gonna check it out. I, old lady had been home for a few days." What were you, what were you doing? doing? And he thinks about it for a second. He's like, "What were you doing in her house?" I, mean, I didn't say you could ask questions. I'm asking the questions. Yeah. <laughs> We're trying to find the old lady. She's gone missing. As she goes you know to visit her. Yeah. I mow her lawn. I did a good job. This is, this is nothing, nothing manicured out of the back, out of the back there. So, yeah. yeah. She wasn't here to pay the other day, so I figured I'd, you know, go in and. See if maybe she left the money out on a counter or something. You 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 want to rip off my aunt Madison? Is that what you did? Your aunt? Yeah, yeah, my aunt. Yeah. Oh, she never said she had brothers and sisters. Well, she never told me. She why would she tell? Why would she tell you? Why would she tell you? You're the guy does the lawn. Fine. Because I so sit with the old lawn? lady sometimes and have a glass of lemonade. We talk about yeah. stuff. Okay, 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 all right, fine. So you obviously know that she's going to go and see grandma. Yeah, she goes to visit her mom every, yeah, every yeah. week. Yeah, uh, yeah. Is anything special about this particular one, this visit? I don't know. I haven't seen her. Did she? Okay, 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 okay. Like a special so, anniversary or anything? I will tell you. Uh, Lloyd, that Jay can tell that he's lying about something. And I want you to both make a awareness roll. Eight. Five, seven. Six. Okay. Ooh. So yeah, well. he's lying about something. But so everything he's saying is true. But you really get the sense that he's holding back something. And you just don't just don't know what it is. 
he's like, look, I was just, I was just checking in on her. I was just checking to see if she left my money out. I, I gotta go patch myself up. I'm hurt. I gotta get home. You check it out, boy. You got a scratch in your knee, telling us, boy. I, look, I. What do you want from me? Of the truth. I told oh, you, okay. I was just checking in on her. <laughs> Look, maybe somebody, maybe somebody asked me to check in on her. I don't know. Some guy came around my house. Yeah, okay. okay, okay, okay now we're getting hypothetical. Yeah, yeah, Which yeah. guy? I don't know, just some guy. Just a random guy just turns up your house and you, your parents not he, around? You just do what he asks. Hey, he gave me some money. What did, I, and now he's telling the truth. That's all he knows. You, you, you often do things for, with old, for old men for money? Because I don't know, it sounds a little fruity. With the amount of money he was offering for me to go check on her? Yeah, I'll do it. I was going to do it anyway. Okay. All right. Describe, give, us, give us a description, his man. I don't know. Old, maybe thirty. You know, an old guy. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Keep in mind, this is like a thirteen-year-old kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're like, we're like a, we're like a cop, like a. I mean, a he, suit. He? he was. I, I don't know. He's wearing like a black hood, hoodie, black something, like black long black coat. Hoodie something. He was, I don't know, he had pale skin. Yes. Dark Fucking eyes. Death and up to your door and asked you to check in on her. Did he have a massive, like, side as well, standing next to him? No. Only fingers. No. He had a nice looking mm. money clip, though, with a wad in it. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Okay. Any distinguishing features? I don't know, man. He. Did you ask you check on anyone else? What? No. Did you ask you check on anyone else? No. No. He asked me if I mowed her lawn. I said, yeah. And he asked if I could go check on her. That's all. Gave me a hundred bucks. And he wasn't waiting for Saints for you to go meet him somewhere afterwards. Oh, uh, no, he said he was going to come by in a couple of days. Well, a couple of days from now. Well, yeah, he asked me to, well, yesterday. So he's going to be coming to you tomorrow? Maybe Check tomorrow, the maybe the day after, yeah. Okay, I don't do this very often. Here's my number. Where's your phone, kid? Where's your phone? I ain't giving you my phone. I don't want you to put my number in your phone. Okay. Right? What? Yeah. Spooky Sam. Right? You put that in. When that guy turns up, you call this number. Okay? Why? Because otherwise, I'm going to haunt you for the rest of your days. Yeah, he might not be who he appears to everybody is. Also, also for your protection. We we, we deal with the shit all the time, me and Jay. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, give me another empathy roll. Let's let's see it. One or both of you. You got to convince this kid. I have no empathy. Okay. You can still roll. Can I, can I do something... I don't know if there's like anything, anything visual. I obviously don't want to um, touch the darkness on him and like <laughs> kill him. But can I do something like make my fingers crackle? I don't know if there's any like visual effects or anything. I mean, not really with necromancy. Um, I can't, uh, unless you can think of something that would make sense yep. with how interacting with spirits works. 
as a minor effect. Like it'd be different if you had some kind of an elemental power. I'd be like, sure, yeah. you can make your fingers crackle, but I can't think of anything like a cheap trick you can do with necromancy. I mean, to show if, it. if there's like, if there's like, uh, I don't know, like it's like a a bug. Or oh, something. you know, you know what? I'll let you do. Give me, give me a lore roll. I okay. will let you see if you can maybe detect if anyone has passed that is close to this kid that maybe you could name to okay okay yeah i found my empathy but okay Uh, so that is um six plus three nine and it's a speciality necromancy sure that's that's two is it yeah it's two and what did you get lloyd i missed your roll for that uh so it was a roll Oh, empathy, for empathy, empathy to convince the kid okay. to contact you guys. Okay, not so great on yours. Um, so yeah, I I will say that you can with your necromancy, you know that this kid has recently lost. Let's say, uh, you let's know, like let's a, say a, okay. an uncle, right? Okay. How are you going to use that against him to scare him into telling you? <laughs> okay, fine. Um, Be a bad person. I mean, basically, I've 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 kind of like have a have a spiel that I use yep. to try to like con people. You, you, you've seen the Frighteners, yeah, with Michael J. Fox. Oh God, it's yeah. been years. But go ahead and tell me what you're doing. <laughs> basically, he has like a spiel to make him look like he's a uh, you know. Um, a proper like a cultist and, and things like that, but he just like uses ghosts to like do con tricks on people. Yeah, um, yeah. so it's like from beyond the darkest veil, the dead speak to me. Your even your uncle William, yes, he, he tells me <clears throat> should watch over. And do I have his name as well? Probably not. This no. young child. <laughs> Do everything he do everything that Spooky Sam says, or I will haunt him. <laughs> so, <laughs> a, a little over the top, but we'll let it play. So yeah, he's, <laughs> he's convinced that uh, that that you are weird. We'll say that Spooky is accurate. It's like fine, fine. I'll 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 let you know. I mean, he's going to pay me either way, so it's fine. Call the number now. Just, 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 just check it works. Call the number. Just check it works. On the phone. He pulls out his phone and punches in the number and hits send. And oh, yeah. now I got your number as well. Right. <laughs> Call me when he turns up. Take care, kid. Don't do. Uh, don't go break into anyone's houses. Right. I wasn't gonna break oh, in. Okay. I was just checking the front door. She forgets sometimes. Mm. Yeah, he's right. Okay, so let's see how Alex is getting on. As I was telling the group uh, in the interim, uh, this might be a new one to a lot of people in the UK. There are some cemeteries in the United States, and Cypress Lawn Lawn is one, that are considered private property and in order to enter the cemetery you basically have to check in and prove that you have reason to be there uh so that might be an issue that our group has to deal with there are tours there are visitation as well i mean you don't necessarily have to have someone who's buried there but you don't just wander onto the property and wander around uh unless you you know want to be surreptitious about it um I will also note that uh, if you do any kind of research in the Cypress Lawn, if you're going there, then uh, it closes at 8 p.m. Uh, so the, the cemetery is closed after dark, uh, which might also be another point in time where you wish to visit, but that's entirely up to you. So we have a gravesite location. We know that people are going missing from the, the, um, the cemetery. Uh, what are we doing? I guess we're going to grave. Yeah. I guess we'll meet up after doing sure. a little bit of research. Um, and we'll see if we can blag our way into the cemetery. Okay. 
are you going to want to just roll up to it or do you want to call ahead or people sometimes call to set up tours i would say at this point it's probably let's see you said we started around 10 so it's probably closer to noon one o'clock at this point with all you've been doing so we've got um, we've got the name we've got the name of her mum haven't we you, you do yeah you have the you have the name of her mother you have the location of the grave um you could potentially use that and say that you want to go pay respects to that person at least that's proving that you're going to be visiting someone in particular oh right, right, right. I'm doing a school project on local people. Okay, well, that gets you in, but why are there two adult men with you? I can't go on my own. Where, where is Karen? By my... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Your instructors, perhaps? Oh, man, do we look like... Do we look like... It's <laughs> <laughs> responsible adults. I mean, I think there's going to be some bluffing going on, but... Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I, I can't get that myself. I can't drive. I'm, a, I'm just a little guy. So, <laughs> Are you little I'm for a 17-year-old? I'm probably not that little, to be honest. I mean, I'm okay. quite rangy and, and, and skeletal. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it's cool. You could also wait until evening and go at night uh, let's and try, take your let's chances try legit- with avoiding let's try security. Semi, let's try semi-legitimately. And then blag away in. And if that doesn't work, we can always come back later. Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to phone ahead then. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you oh, get a receptionist. Boy, I have my school project. Uh, I, I th- I'm going to, I think we'll try the family uh, thing with um, Mrs. Lee's, Madison Lee's mom. I think. Sure. Uh, so, so your name. Uh, I I don't know if it I matters. Given her name. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I'm just gonna uh, call up and just say that uh, we're um, we're family members from out of town. Um, it's been a while. We'd like to come pay our respects to our dear departed grandmother. Oh, very good. Uh, do you have her name and her plot number? Um. Uh, unfortunately, as I say, we don't have the plot number. We're out of town. No, you do. Oh, oh we that's do. Photo. That's easy to look. Of course we do. Yeah. Of course we do. Of course we have a plot number. It's 379. Of course. Will you need a guide? Uh, I, yeah, have I you been to the cemetery before? Oh, I, it was a while back, but I think, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll know where we're going. All right. Well, I will prepare a sticker for your vehicle. I'm assuming you're driving. If you're from I, out of town. Absolutely. Um, so I'll have a sticker prepared for your vehicle. You'll just need to check in with the front gate to uh, receive your sticker. You'll need to uh, provide some identification. What name shall I have it under? Um, uh, I just give them my name, Alex Nicano. Very good. And you said you're a relative, but not direct. Uh, that's right. Yeah. Um, okay. on, on my mother's side. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they're not going to do checks on you, so it's, it's not that tight. Um, very well. I have Alex Nicano, a uh, sticker for entering the park for, for a visit for today. You have your location. You do not need a guide. As I said, just check in with the front gate, and they will give you your sticker. Uh, thank you very much. That's, that's very kind of you. Thank you. Of course. Have a great day. You as well. And uh, please, if you need anything while you're at the lawn, uh, contact us at the front office. We will. So she hangs up. And uh, yeah, so on to the cemetery. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. T-shirt on. I have a feeling. Cypress Lawn Cemetery. <laughs> Everyone without the pasta stains. So, yeah. <laughs> so as you drive up to Cypress Lawn, wow. um, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, looks like a fucking golf club. <laughs> it does yeah. kind of. <laughs> so those are actually two different um, chapels that are on the grounds. There are more. Um, this is the east campus of the lawn, uh, which is where. 
the grandmother is actually interred, which is kind of nice. Mm. Um, so as you enter, you stop at the front gate. Um, there's like, you know, a little kind of guard shack. I mean, it's not a shack. It's nice. It's looks like it's heated and, you know, air conditioned. And there's a guy just sitting in there. Um, from from the way he handles himself, he's probably an off-duty cop that maybe is, you know, just doing security for an extra job. Uh, he does have a weapon, uh, which is very common for security to be armed here. Um, and yeah, he's like, uh, yeah, what's going on? Hey, is that to keep people in or out? I'm pointing at the gun. He rolls his eyes. Clearly, he's heard similar things before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Funny. Um, uh, we've um, we phoned ahead, uh, Alex Nakano. Um, you got a sticker for the car? Uh, yeah, I've got your sticker here. ID. Um, yeah, I'm reach into my pocket, pull out my wallet, uh, opens it up. <laughs> so he takes. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, uh, do you take it out of the... Bribe him. <laughs> yeah. Just bribe him. Just driver's license. So he takes it and he looks at it. Okay. Looks at you. All right. Mr. Nakano, here's your sticker. It's good Thank for today. Um, if you... I'm sure they told you, but if you need anything, speak to the front office. If you have any issues with your grave plot, um, please report it to the front office. Uh, any damage, uh, make sure to report it as well. And if you see uh, any other vehicles Zombies. on the property, <laughs> if you see any other vehicles on the property without a sticker, we request that you also report those to us as well. Oh, sure. I, I say, were you uh, were you uh, working here? Are you work here every day? Uh, I work here a lot. Yeah. Oh, uh, maybe you saw my aunt. She'd have been visiting uh, the same plot. Uh, you. No. So, oh, uh, I haven't seen her in a while. Oh, um, Madison. She has Madison. a schedule. Yeah, Miss Lee. She comes out here regularly, uh, at least every other week. Wow. I, uh, is she him. family? Uh, she's my aunt. Oh, your aunt. Uh, yes, I, I, I probably saw her. Well, let's. She'd actually be visiting today, I think, uh, if she were visiting. Uh, now? Oh, no, there's no indication on the sheet. You're the only one visiting. Is, uh, is it a sheet or is it a, um, is it a spreadsheet on a computer? Oh, he's got a clipboard. Yeah. The clipboard, is it? Yeah. Can we... And that's like who's scheduled to come in today. No, no <laughs> registered appointments for her. Um, is she all right? He actually starts to look a little concerned. Oh. Um, I, I, we, we haven't got around to seeing it yet. We've only just, we've only just kind of uh, um, arrived in town, borrowed this uh, car from a friend, and... Uh, um, I, I, yeah, no, I'm sure everything's fine. Um, see you around. Okay, well, uh, yes... Uh, Enjoy your, uh, and he kind of shakes his head and like, <laughs> um, um, best wishes to you. I'm, and, and also to you. Shake my head. <laughs> so yeah, uh, the gate, I mean, they call it a front gate, but there's no, like the gate's open. It's just that they, you know, you stop at the gate to register as you come in. I didn't yeah. want to make it sound during the break like these were fortresses, but yeah, you do have to check it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, you have the plot. Are you going to, so you can, you can park at one of the chapels or at the main office. It's kind of in the front of the grounds. Yeah. Uh, or you can drive to the plot and park there. Uh, there are kind of areas to park or people often park on the side of the road kind of pull off a little bit. Um, there's a bit of a shoulder that people can park in. What are you wanting to do? Just park and walk or? Uh, I, I, yeah, let's, let's, 
let's park and we'll walk through the cemetery a, a, a ways, just in case there's anything, so, we spot anything odd. Okay, so, yeah, so, theory, it's a clutch of um, graves in the area that relate to all these individuals. So, obviously, not yeah. all of them are going to have the same surname, but ah. if we look for a grave in the general area with at least one of the other five names, Here then my, there's some legs. I think that myself, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm trying to fix this real quick, and then I'll ask you to repeat yourself. No worries. Okay, what was that again? Uh, we're going to park at the chapel, so we have to walk through the cemetery. Um, but okay. we're kind of the impression that we're wondering if the people that are missing, perhaps they were visiting graves that might have been in the roughly the same area. So we're going to want to check some of the graves around oh, okay. um, uh, Madison's mom's grave. Cool. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Alex gets out of the car, reaches into his pocket, pulls out a pack of cigarettes and lights one up, sniffs. You know, the things will, quit, will kill you and I take out a jewel. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the teen has a jewel. Um, what were you uh, saying to Siri, though, Trousers? You said you were Sorry? talking to your phone? I thought you did. Oh, maybe I missed no, her while I was trying I, to fix I, I, I talk, No, no, no. I talked to Alex and saying that yeah. we're going to look for any other gravestones to have like yeah. Ortiz, Ramirez, Garcia, sure. Smith, or ask if you can bump. Oh, okay. Just in um, case. And so on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you look, so, look at, uh, at the male names, they're, they're more likely to perhaps have. Sure. So the, the grandmother's grave plot is right around in this area up here. Mm hmm. Um, you could probably park really at any chapel, but you might be interested more in parking at the lakeside and then just kind of walking up the main drag in that direction. Um, however you do, wherever you park and whatever path you take, uh, you do notice that there's kind of a significant mound or hill here in section B with a very prominent mausoleum at the top of it. Oh, it's got to be the, the wood people. Right. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, so yeah, as you people. walk, uh, it is it is a very nice place. I mean, this could possibly even be considered an arboretum with all of the trees that are planted. But there are obviously a lot of grave plots as well. Mm -hmm. um, there are some smaller and larger mausoleums dotted here and there and then very neat uh, ranks of graves uh, in you know, pretty much any open space. There aren't a lot of field type areas. Um, there are many, many graves and, and kind of footpaths uh, leading off of the paved roads in between them. Um, so, are there any fresh graves? Hmm. That is a good question. So, yeah, I mean, I would say that you probably are able to spot even as you start off, uh, once you get past the chapels, the graves start to kick in. Um, probably two or three or four even uh, fresh graves. You even see one party off in the distance, uh, probably in this direction, I mean, where, yeah, they're currently being interred. So. Okay. So one, so what was we found our plot? Um, is, I'm going to this area, the closest, yeah. Yeah, the closest fresh grave. Okay. That one. Mm, okay. Sure. Yeah. I'm going to see if um, I can. I've got their name. I've got their date of birth. <laughs> they obviously That's have true. loved ones still alive because they died recently and someone's paid for their stone. That's true. Come out to play. In I broad daylight? Um, I mean, probably has that worked? Has it worked? Well, I don't know. Do they see the ghost as well, or is it just um, I can? Uh, well, no, but I mean, they may, if there are people close enough. I mean, are you trying to be surreptitious about this? I, there, I'm not being. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not being blase about, about it. it. Okay. okay. So I, it's up to you. I, if you, if you want to do this in broad daylight out in the open, I'm going to make that more difficult for you if you want to be surreptitious. If you don't want to be surreptitious, then you might be noticed. 
I mean, I do have stealth too, but it's stealth a bit more. It's more yeah. I know it's more about making sure there's no other people around, really. Um, yeah. Okay, so there are there are people around. Basically, it's quite a. You can thing. you can go look for one kind of off the beaten path, uh, away like kind of deeper into the areas away from the the grandmother's burial site and away from the main uh, roads i mean i guess i want to i want to find out if anyone's seen what's happening okay. in this general area so, yeah. and so if they're too far we'll away they're not going to see it yeah. if you if you wander off and, and walk for a bit you're able to find something that you feel like you could probably do a quick uh assessment okay. uh and not be noticed is uh are jay and alex doing anything Hmm, um, Are you looking for anything in particular? Not really. I, I think mean, I, it was yeah, checking the um, just checking the graves for those names that we that we have. Are sure. we roughly in the area, or are we on the way? Yeah, say? yeah. No, you. We'll say you got back to the area. Yeah. Um, Sam has kind of gone off to look for a kind of an out of the way, yeah. fresh internment, or that maybe he can engage with. Let's have you two, before we get to Sam, make awareness checks to do just kind of a general investigation of the area and kind of looking around for some similar names and such. I was wondering if I could, okay. if there's any scent I could track based on that woman's house. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you can certainly give that a go. So, uh, Mark's not six. seeing much. Yeah. But Jay does fairly well. Okay. So, yeah. So we'll come back to what you found. Uh, let's talk to Sam real quick. So go ahead and make your necromancy roll to summon. Spend your will. Okay, so spend my will. And then I just, uh, it's just law, is it? Yep. And you're going to get your bonus for necromancy. Oh. <laughs> Uh, that's fine that's nine so yeah, just nine. Makes it. i was gonna say like it's a good thing you're specialized all right yeah. so um yeah i mean the spirit is nearby maybe it's not moved on quite yet um what do you want to ask it um i would say how does it sense any it could be a serial killer, it could be any um, great, obviously there's a lot of emotional resonance, it's a bloody graveyard. Um, anger, violence, a restless spirits, um, anything that I think in my experience or imagination uh, might decide to take action against the living in a graveyard. So you you get two separate images uh, or f sensations from the spirit as it tries to communicate with you. Um, one, you get a sense of anger and violence at uh, removal, uh, construction. Two you get a sense of abduction and breaking the veil and the spirit is frightened of the second thing it's trying to impress upon you. Meanwhile, Mark, although you didn't roll great on your awareness, I will say mm -hmm. as both you and Jay are up here kind of looking around where the Ortiz woman, or sorry, the uh, the Lee woman, Madison Lee, was visiting her mother's site. Uh, you do notice that in this area there is some work being done, and it looks like there is maybe a, a large fountain being added in okay. this general area. Um, Incomplete. It is currently incomplete, yes. In fact, there are some men working on it right now. 
Oh. Um, so there's that. Anything else, trousers? Okay, so this is like a an abstract thing I get from my communication. So they're building, they're making the fount, this fountain, and they've moved some bodies um, to make way for it. Yeah, you get the Presumably. sense that the spirit is. Yes, you are correct. So there's so these disturbed spirit um, bodies, or the spirits of these, have taken out on on the living who who come to this particular area. Um, it's just what they've done with them: abduction, breaking the veil. And in that, it, you get you yeah. get hard no. <laughs> Scaring, running off, abduction, breaking the veil, separate. Okay. Now we're going to go okay, to Jay. Yeah. yeah. Jay, you actually find a phone that mm -hmm. has in, in the grass. Um, the grass is maybe long enough to indicate that this area hasn't been mown lately. So maybe you're just very lucky to have come at this time. The phone definitely has the same scent as the, the collection of scents you picked up in Madison Lee's house on it. It's an older model. Yeah, I think this might be Madison's phone. Say like what? It has no scent on it. Um. Okay. So we're both stand there staring at this phone, probably not sure how to unlock it. I don't know. <laughs> um, I mean, it's an older model. model. Probably won't have it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's easy to to you you know hit the appropriate button and the screen powers up and it's battery's kind of low, but. Okay. Um, so she was videos here. Or pictures or anything on it. Yeah. Last number. So, okay. Um, we will go through those in a second. Sam. Yep. What else are you questioning or querying? Abduction. Where? Hmm. And at that, the spirit gives you a sense of just sweeping everywhere in the cemetery. And you get a flash of a horseshoe. Horseshoe. Yeah. Like on so back, its own, or, or um, like a special horse? No. So a horseshoe on its own. Um, in in the flash of the imagery you get, it looks like it's encased in marble, like it's maybe set into a floor. Okay. Let me check out that mausoleum, then when we get back to the others. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So I'll I'll, I'll pay Shiminage to the spirit um, and say thank you for your time. You may now go and rest. Um, stay chill and uh, go back and find the others. <laughs> stay, stay chill, dead person. That's great. <laughs> so uh, yeah, back to Alex and Jay. Um, what are you doing with the phone again? You're checking through the pictures and you're checking last called. Yeah, see what's, yeah the most recent. Uh, is that correct? The phone? Yeah, I'd like to see last person that she called and also last person that called her, I suppose. Okay. Um, and well Lloyd, as... you were muted. I didn't hear your statement. Oh, sorry. Just like um, look through like any, like if there's any recent photos or videos from like the last three days or whatever's on her phone. Recent, like the calls swell. To see if there's been any activity since she was supposed to be. Sure. So the last call, uh, Jay uh, might actually recognize if he was paying attention when uh, 
No, not Sam, oh, but the kid. It's the kid, the kid with the yeah. Yeah, the number in Sam's phone, whose name you didn't get. Um. So that's the last call she made. As far as the last call received, it's from a number in New York. Okay. Um. And there's no name attached to it. There's no name attached to any of these. Like she hasn't gone through an attached address. Like she hasn't done an address book, right? Um, as far as pictures, uh, there are several pictures that are dated from uh, four days ago. And they are, um, they look like they're pictures probably from just the area of Colma, you get the sense that this 78-year-old woman may have walked to the cemetery. Okay. Which is kind of impressive considering the distance, but not impossible. Maybe she's very capable. Yeah. And as your car would still be here, right? Right. And the, she had a there was a car in her driveway. Mm. Um oh, okay. So okay. as you're Scrolling through the images from, you know, several days ago up to present, mainly because I want to do it that way for fun, even though in real, li in real life, you'd probably be scrolling from present to a few days ago. Um, as you're scrolling through, you see some pictures of um, what looked like the area around her cul-de-sac. There's a nice picture of the hills uh, behind her house. Um, there is a very nice picture of some of the streets that you've driven on recently. In fact, when you went out to see her, uh, it's a picture of a local bodega. There's a picture of a girl that really looks like um, Mia Smith uh, hanging out on a street corner with a bunch of her friends. Uh, yeah. And then there is. Uh, and it's not like she's centered in the picture. She's just kind of was there. So she lives local to right. Medicine. Right. right. Uh, and then you start to get to pictures of Cypress Lawn. And there's a picture of her uh, grandmother's or her mother's grave. Um. And then, interestingly enough, the very next picture is shot from, like, the ground up. And you see a picture of, it's hard to see because it's kind of blurry, um, but it looks like, it looks like it's probably Madison and something is grabbing her from behind. Oh. And then that's the last picture. Do we see distinct? Yeah, I, I like again. It's it's very blurry. Uh, it looks like maybe she accidentally stepped on the button to take a picture as somebody was maybe accosting her from behind after she had dropped her phone. Um, but yeah, there's no way to tell what's grabbing her. Like you don't even see hands. You just kind of see her being. Oh, okay. Pulled back. Hey, no phone. I'll actually get an upgrade. Fuck you. <laughs> the Diamante really set your yeah. eyes off. <laughs> yeah. And I, I do that without even looking up. <laughs> Say that. So everybody, um, since Sam hey, has hey. rejoined you, hang yeah. on. Since Sam has rejoined you as he walks up and says that, I want everybody to make an awareness check for him. Ooh, big nine. Way more than nine, actually, for Jay. Let's have a That's look. 11 oh, for me. Yeah. Shocking. Seven for me. I think Alex is probably just staring at the phone Ooh. intently, trying to trying to figure out what this shape is or what's sure. grabbed a hold of uh, Madison. So as Alice, Alice, Alex has just kind of told off Sam and is still kind of really just focused yeah. on that phone. Jay and Sam both notice um, 
a form kind of rise out of the ground and rush towards you. Ooh. And Definitely. as... In broad daylight. In broad daylight. <laughs> now, here's the thing. It rushes for you, and when it sees that you don't immediately have a certain reaction to it, like, you might look surprised. Mm. But I'm assuming ni- neither of you are running in terror. No. Unless you are. Okay, so not seeing that reaction, it kind of stops and just <laughs> glowers at you and sinks back into the ground. Stupid <laughs> jump skaters. And I think that might be a good place for us to call it today.